Hello everyone and welcome to my first Android Quick Tips video. In this one we're going to be discussing how to add the Android support library to your applications. Let's jump right into how we're going to do this. First thing you're going to need is a project in Eclipse, one you're working on, one that you want to include the support library in. And it's actually really simple. All you have to do is right click on the project, go to Android Tools down here, and click Add Support Library. Now if you don't have the support library installed already, which you can do through the SDK Manager, you'll be asked to accept the license. Of course you should read this first. And then click install. That will then install and then include the support library in your application. Now you'll want to include the support library in cases where you want to use API calls from the later API levels included in the Android SDK but you still want your application to run on devices running API levels which are lower than the API level of the call that you're using. And again, this only works if the API calls are included in the support library. And one good example of this is the Fragments class. If you want to use Fragments, but you also want to be compatible down to earlier API levels, go ahead and include the support library. And if you're interested in finding out more about which calls are included in the support library, just go to the developer documentation here and check on the revisions here to see if the API calls are included. So in summary, the Android support library is really just a tool that you can use to increase the compatibility of your application with a broader spectrum of API levels on varying devices. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and ask if you have any feedback, please leave a comment below, something I can do to improve the series or something you'd like to see in any future videos. If you enjoyed the video, please support the channel with a like, and if you want to see some more content, feel free to subscribe. But that's it for now. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.